but my mother had fibroids, but she never discussed it with me until I was diagnosed. So I didn't know what symptoms to be to look out for. Um, so I ended up in the hospital with severe anemia. My hemoglobin was a three. And I know all of you probably know that a hemoglobin of three is not conducive to life. I've had seven blood transfusions due to low iron and anemia because of fibroids. For me, it was really, really heavy bleeding every time I had my period, really, really uh, strong cramps, um, even headaches, back pain. The women in my family would always say, oh, we just, like, it was just kind of what we had to experience. It was very much framed as um, like heavy bleeding was normal, um, that it was a rite of passage even, um, and this is just what you do. Um, had I known that heavy bleeding was a symptom of something that was a little bit more wrong, I think I would have been more aggressive about being seen for the heavy bleeding and pushing even when I was seen for more to happen. So fibroids are essentially a non-cancerous growth that comes from a layer of the uterus, the muscle layer of the uterus. African-American women or women um, who identify as black women have a much higher fibroid burden, two to three times higher than their white counterparts. Our mission is, is very simple. We support women suffering from uterine fibroids. We encourage women to be their own best health advocate, and we encourage women to share their story. It's so so powerful when you share because it leads to your healing and you are aiding in someone else's healing.